I'm Vic Derman, I'm a science counselor and CRD director, and I'm vice chair of the East Side Committee. Uh, what, was, what happened tonight was the start of a public engagement process, and we are trying to uh, reverse the process that happened last time, and last time around I think somewhat unfortunately, uh, we tended to go out to the public and say this is what we're going to do, you know, and get their responses. And this time around, we want to say to the public, this is the issue we face, what are your ideas on it? And begin to collect that information. Uh, I, I think it was a good start tonight. From what I got out of it, I began to hear, began to hear a lot of the public concerns, a lot of the things they would like to see accomplished. Um, and I also came to realize that we need to provide the public with a lot of information. Not information on what we've already decided, but a lot of basic information that they need to know in order to make informed decisions. And I, and I had quite a number of the public come up to me and say, this is great, I appreciate the opportunity to be heard, but I also need information so that I can make wise comment. But I'm uh, pleased to see the number of people who came out. Uh, I'm pleased to see the public interested in being involved in the process. And I think that's a very healthy thing. I'm Shelley McDonald and I live in rural Saanich just outside of Prospect Lake and I came here tonight because I'm interested in ensuring that sewage treatment um, that is an urban issue stays in the urban setting. I think an event like this evening is a starting place to pull um, engaged residents in what factors are super important to them to move forward and build principles and values under which the sewage treatment plan will operate under is super important. This event is um, really great because it has attracted a broad, broad range of people with a broad range of perspectives um, to talk about issues and opinions that are important to them as individuals. And I think it's important to give those ideas a voice because that has never happened before. The group that I am working with this evening are smart, capable people with a broad range of ideas and opinions who, although they have diverse ideas and opinions, are, are good listeners and are willing to work together. And I see that maybe that's the best outcome of tonight is having folks that have been on divergent points working together in the future. Lisa Helps, Mayor of Victoria and Chair of the East Side Sewage Select Committee as well as the Core Area Liquid Waste Management Committee. First public dialogue on this new process. Uh, it went exceedingly well, started with a public briefing to give information out and then really spent the bulk of the evening gathering information in. Uh, the reports back from the groups just happened and I would say that there were nothing surprising, um, a lot of enthusiasm for moving forward quickly for the most part and getting a project in place and um, a desire to be continuously engaged and help us get to a solution. I'm surprised by how much positivity and positive energy there is in the room right now. This has been a contentious project for the last 20 years and just listen to the buzz behind us. There's positivity, there's a sense that we might actually finally really be able to do something and I'm very optimistic about that and a little bit surprised as well. Uh, the facilitators were great and what I heard from people participating at the tables is the facilitators really made sure that all voices got heard. There are some strong voices and some quieter voices and everyone's voice tonight. From what I've heard, uh, the facilitators did a really good job. My name is Larissa Hutchison. I'm the General Manager of Parks and Environmental Services with the Capital Regional District. So tonight's the kickoff for the Eastside Communities of Victoria, Saanich and Oak Bay to really re-engage with the sewage treatment project for the Cory area of Victoria and let us know what they're thinking about as their priorities. We've had a lot of planning and a lot of talk on uh, sewage treatment for the Cory area. We're now taking a look at fairly tight timelines to come up with a project that's going to meet our funding uh, regulations, that's going to meet the federal regulations. And so we want to talk to the community about what it is that's important to them. This is an open-ended dialogue. It's really listening and having the, uh, the, uh, the public have an opportunity to tell us what's important to them with regards to the criteria for the plant, 
what they'd like to achieve with this, what success looks like for this project. The next step is to take this conversation into the, the communities, have uh, events that are on more of a community level and just have another conversation so that we're sure that we're getting right into the communities that we're, that we're talking about. And then from there, take the feedback and develop some options that will come back to the community later this month with some sites and start talking about what some of the true options are. I think an event like this really provides an opportunity for the public to say, hey, we're being listened to, no decisions have been made. I think one of the challenges that we've had in the past is that a lot of work has been done by a lot of technical uh, experts and, and elected officials that has uh, perceived to be behind closed doors. So this is an opportunity to say what's important to you um, as a member of the public, as a resident, as a community association member, as a neighbor to a potential sewage treatment plant and come back and say this is what's, uh, this is what's really going to make this project successful and to tell us that and to have input right at the very beginning of the planning process.